Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing well. Feels like it's been forever, but I know it's only been a few days since I've been live. So I have something that I've noticed over the years and I'm just getting to a space where I know what to call it. I know how to identify it and also identify what comes along with it. And I feel that this message is, is timely, very timely. And I want to share it with you. So if you're new, if this is your first time on a live broadcast with me, uh, first of all, put first timer in the comments. Let me know in the comments that this is your first time so that I can um, welcome you to the broadcast. If this is not your first time, you've been around the camp, um, been around the rodeo for quite some time put hashtag renew in the comments and even if you're coming back on the replay put hashtag replay in the comments I'm Tanya Wilson I am a life and business coach and I have the pleasure of helping women from around the world step into their personal power <clears throat> scale their businesses and create lifestyles they love and what I do is considered the full circle experience. And what that consists of is a body of work that includes um, personal development, abundant mindset, which is really thinking from an abundant space and from a growth uh, perspective, and business building. And so around here, we do all threes. We kind of all three, we kind of work in a space of threes. If you follow me, you'll notice this is just something organically that has happened for me where um, I tend to think in threes and create in threes and all the things. And this even goes back to when I owned a brick and mortar service based business. So a lot of the branding even that I did in my uh, previous business were in sets of threes. So just a little something for those of you who are new here to um, notice or take notice of and it's just in um, intrinsically a part of, of who I am and how things flow in alignment for me so yes we do all three here we work on your abundant mindset personal growth and business building <clears throat> but um, to our message to the thing this message that I feel is especially for you um, it's really centered again around something that I've noticed and I'm just now finding the language to tie to what it is that I've been seeing and that is misplaced shame misplaced shame now life presents an opportunity for us to make a lot of mistakes right it presents a lot of opportunities for us to fail at some things and to get some things wrong. And just as many opportunities as they are for those things, there are 100 times more opportunities for us to do exceptionally well, exceptionally good, um, and to really create something special in our lives. And what I've noticed is when we have maybe gone through transitional times or more difficult times in our lives, if we aren't careful, and most people aren't even aware of this, if we aren't careful, we will begin to deal with what I'm calling today misplaced shame. So maybe you, like myself, have gone through a divorce. I was married for 14 years. I've been divorced now for three years. I told myself before I ever got married, right, that I was getting married one time, that I wasn't having children until I got married, and that's how it worked for me. Except the fact that I did end up getting a divorce. And when I was thinking about this earlier today, I was thinking how important it was for me at the time that I was married to continue to be married for several reasons. I'm a believer, uh, one. Number two, I never wanted my child to grow up in a home without both of 
I say his or her because this was something that I desired before I even had children. I actually have a beautiful um, daughter who is a senior. But my thought process prior to even going into marriage was that I never wanted my children to grow up in a home where both parents weren't in the home. Um, and so there were so many ideas that I had about what I desired. And some of them were morally correct. Um, I found that some of those things do um, lead tend to lead a path of success when done properly. When done properly, I must stress that. Um, but some things that I desired were societal norms. Um, not the marriage part necessarily. I'm still a, a an extreme believer in marriage. I am going to remarry. But some of the, the ideas and things that I had were societal norms. And if our life doesn't always align with the timeline, I can even remember when I was 28. So I was still single. I didn't have any children. Um, I had been in long-term relationships. I had been proposed to um, a few times. The, the subject of marriage was not something new prior to um, my, my ex-husband, but I had been married. And I remember around 28, I, I said, hmm, you know, I think I need to get married. I think I need to start a family. And I'm almost certain that those things really stemmed. I think there's something biological that may transpire. I'm not sure about that. I haven't studied it. Although I study the brain, the body, and things like that quite often, just simply to align with the work that I get to do with women. But I believe that quite a bit of my thought process at the age of 28 that I needed to be, you know, considering marriage and starting a family were societal things. And what I realized is that most oftentimes as we go throughout our life, we don't end up with cookie cutter lives. Hi, Nicole. How are you, dear? We don't end up with these cookie cutter lives. There are some of you who've had children prior to marriage. Um, maybe not just one child, but two children or three children. Um, some of you, like myself, have gone through divorce. Uh, some of you have had businesses that failed or, or did not meet the expectations that you originally had. Maybe there was an income goal, a program you launched. Something did not go the way that you desired. And what I find is if we aren't careful, maybe we didn't grow up in the ideal family setting. Uh, maybe our children have done something that kind of disappointed us. Does that make sense? Hey, Andrea, thank you for sharing, dear. And if we aren't careful, we will begin to rest in what I'm calling today misplaced shame. Is this registering for anyone? We will begin to actually rest in misplaced shame. Now, misplaced shame has the capabilities of causing you to stay in something longer than necessary. Lord have mercy, y'all don't hear me. Now, you're, t you're speaking to a lady who was married for 14 years, but about a third of that time, maybe even more, probably more, of my marriage was not the healthiest marriage. Do you guys hear me? But the thought that I wouldn't be married, the thought that my child would have to grow up, you know, not in a two-parent household, all the, the thoughts and things kept me there longer than I should have stayed. Right? For some of you, it could be a business that just is not working. Or, hey, Simone, darling, how are you? It could be a business that although it's working is no longer in alignment do you guys hear me it's no longer in alignment with where you desire to be but the shame of throwing in the towel or even stepping out on faith if you don't have a lot of faith walkers around you and people are just kind of living the nine to five life the, the misplaced shame will keep you somewhere longer than you're supposed to be. 
And I, I really wanted to come on and, and talk about that because I understand that it will cause you to settle. So maybe there's something that occurred in your life that you aren't too proud of, right? You wish that it could be different. And the measure of shame that you internally experience that you may not have even thought about. This is why I work with my clients on abundant thinking and abundant mindset because it moves us into new realities so that we can step into bigger destinies. And oftentimes we don't even realize that we're carrying these things that aren't allowing us to fully move forward into what we're called to move into. Look, is this making sense? Somebody put me in the comments if this is hitting home, if this is making sense, if this is resonating with you. Because when, when I got the download to come and share this, there was a sense of heaviness, but also a sense of joy that God would give me this message to talk about and to, to bring light to, to shine light on, to let you know that although you may have made a mistake, although it may not have gone exactly the way that you want it to go, maybe you're starting over. Maybe you're starting over. That was me just, what, three, four years ago, guys? I've been married for 14 years. I've been divorced now for three to four years. I started completely over, right? So I was given the option to refinance my marriage home and give my husband a buyout or do the vi do vice versa. Let him refi and give me a buy buyout. I wanted a completely new start. I chose the latter. I chose the latter because I knew I wanted something different. And so if this is you, if you're in a space where you, you know you're in transition, like I've been doing this thing over here long enough and there's a part of me that doesn't want to let it go because I don't know if people are going to think how much I've invested and why it never went as far as society thought it should go. But there's something else that's in my heart that I really feel aligned to. But I think I have misplaced shame. Some of you may have gone through health challenges. You guys got to hear me. And... There's nothing like not feeling super confident because of something that you may have gone through. And that misplaced shame, this is what it does. It creates these old stories that marinate. Y'all don't hear me. They marinate and they become a large part of your being. And most oftentimes we aren't even aware that they're there. Now, I speak with you all all the time about our subconscious programming. This is the part of our brain that soaks up everything, and we aren't always conscious about those maybe ruminating thoughts or what's like embedded in that subconscious programming. But my, my job as your guide today, for those of you who will work with me in this season and the seasons to come, is to uncover that stuff so that we can replace it with something different right and so today I'm here to tell you not to be ashamed there are probably things that you, that have transpired in your life that although it may not have been God's design he'll use it for your destiny but you have to number one become aware that those are some of the things that are blocking your money that are blocking the right relationships and I stress the right relationships because it's so easy if we failed in an area before to not feel that we're capable of something even greater. Right? And what that looks like is we begin to settle. We settle in relationships. We settle with our health. We settle in our friendships. We settle with our money. Speaking of money, I remember when I began to raise my prices as a, a life and business coach. And there would be a few individuals on my timeline, anytime I talked about money or anytime I talked about premium offers and premium services, they would have, they would like create this um, conflict, for lack of a better word, with me, like in my post. And I would 
there were times I don't do that anymore, okay? Because one of the things I understand is that people aren't paying me to work with me for my time, the number of minutes or hours that they're working with me. They're paying me for 25 plus years of exceptional experience. They're paying me for transformation that sometimes can happen in 10 minutes, <laughs> right? And earn them thousands of dollars. So, you know, I had to get to the place where I wasn't ashamed. This, I know this may seem weird, but I was ashamed to like raise my prices. I was ashamed to talk about how much my services were because there were a few people who were constantly making these little comments, right? And I was, you know, I started second guessing like, but then I have clients on this end who are tripling their income from my expertise and my experience and the value and the transformation that they're getting with me. Their lives are changing, not just from a monetary standpoint, but just as a whole, right? So I begin to understand my value. So there are so many things that we can find to be ashamed of that we've either gone through, or maybe for some of you, it could be this thing where you're telling yourself, I should be a lot further ahead than I am now. I should be a lot further ahead than I am now. And I want to say this because if you've been following me or even if you're new here, one of the things that you will learn is that I believe in possibility, right? So there is a huge possibility that, yes, you are supposed to be further along than you are now. However, everybody's measure of success is different. I'm going to say that. But and also... What happens if you have had life things that happen? So for me, my divorce was a, a pivotal point, and even my marriage was a pivotal point. Um, I was better able to understand that although I had a seemingly successful business, I had twelve staff, a team of twelve employees, not contracted help, not people just doing a little job for me, who came in and punched the clock inside my brick and mortar every day that I was leading, although all of these things were transpiring, I understood because I was in a healthy, unhealthy situation that it could have been doing better. It could have been doing better. Now, if I allowed um, the shame of not being further along to keep me, right, to keep me in this, I'm going to call it a chokehold, there's no way I'd be speaking to you today from this position as a certified life and business coach with clients around the world, in other countries even. Not if I held on to the shame. Now, I'm not saying there weren't seasons where I wasn't holding on to shame. The shame of even letting go of my marriage was one of the things. It was only one, but it was in there, right? It might have been embedded. But if I really deeply processed it, it was one of the things that kept me there a lot longer than I should have stayed. And what happens when we stay in places longer than we should, we got to do more inner work. Somebody put inner work in the comments. The longer we stay in places that we don't need to be in, right? Um, listen, and sometimes we accept those places because of how we grew up. We don't think we qualify. So I'll just settle for this. Right? The constant thought of the fact that you let yourself down in, in previous times will keep you from taking new opportunities. Because there's this thing in your mind about how much you let yourself down before you no longer trust yourself. And so I just want you guys to take a moment, just become mindful. Like, am I allowing misplaced shame to keep me from my next? Is there something embedded in my heart, in my thought process that is a blocker for my next level of wealth, my next level of healthy relationships, my next level of a healthy life? And this is why it's so important that um, we don't allow shame 
to keep us from trying again. To keep us from stepping fully into, you know, like what's really in our heart. And see, this is how it happens for like your next opportunity. When it's time to invest in yourself um, at another level or, and when I say level, I just, I'm not talking about just income, right? Level could be, I'm investing in myself in a way that I've never invested in myself before. So it could be, I'm investing in my mindset in this season. I'm investing in my health in this season. I'm creating a routine that makes me brilliant. Those are ways I've never really, if I really think about it, like really have taken serious and invested my, in myself. When we have misplaced shame because maybe we failed or something didn't go well, it will keep you, like when it's time to invest, it will keep you from investing in yourself at the next level because you'll be saying, well, I, I failed the last time. I don't even trust myself that I'm going to do everything that's necessary right and so that misplaced shame can begin to create these limiting beliefs and I talk to you guys often about limiting beliefs because they're beliefs that we normally don't even know we have but they are very much a part of why things aren't moving why we won't move forward if you're having to start over there can be a level of shame in that that keeps you from from really starting over like you'll tiptoe <laughs> around your start over process until you deal with a misplaced um, shame. And so it's important to me to come to you and bring awareness to just some of the things that I'm seeing um, as I do my work and you know, even before becoming a life and business coach, I can think about thousands of conversations I've had with women in my previous career. And I now have the language to what I was seeing. It's misplaced shame, right? Because I would see some of the most gifted women who stayed in unhealthy relationships. I was one of them. I would see some of the most kindest, um, loyal, deserving women stay on jobs and compromise their health because they didn't think they were worthy. I would drop business, they would tell me about, you know, little things that they may do, uh, create baskets or some other thing. And in my mind, I'm like, listen, the place that you're working. It's driving your health down. You can sell 20 of those baskets and make the same thing you make in a week in that chick. So this was before I became a certified life coach. I was life coaching. And I didn't really have the words like misplaced shame to attach to the complacency I saw or the, the level that, that we as women were settling. But today I was able to kind of tie it all together and I was like wow we we've been dealing with misplaced shame maybe we didn't get it right and society has this blue blueprint of how it should be done and whenever we don't meet that blueprint on that timeline in that season grow up in the right neighborhood all the things there's a level of shame that will keep you from sitting at different tables sitting at the right tables, right? And so there are many coaches and teachers, trainers, mentors like myself who oftentimes you may see their lifestyle and it will resonate with you. Oh, those are the things that I want to have, right? So oftentimes we're looking for people who we can almost exchange lives with them. But what I think is important is that you find someone who has the capacity to give you what you need for your destiny. Not, okay, I'll give you a couple examples to, to make it plain. 
So I actually wrote this. Most people are looking for people to take them where they are, as in, you know, different places and lifestyle online, but not where they've been called to be. So where you've been called to be, Layla, where you've been called to be, Andrea, Simone, trying to see the other young lady. Where you've been called to be is not necessarily where it's not necessarily this visual thing, right? As in a Bugatti or Louboutin, not that those things won't come with it, but what you need to focus on is a voice that resonates with something in your soul, someone who has the capacity for where you are supposed to be. Not matching the lifestyle of someone, someone else. Because when you can get in alignment with where you are supposed to be, when you can get in alignment with the things that you need to uncover for your journey, that you need to heal in your journey, that you need to replace with different beliefs and different thoughts, the provision comes. The provision comes from that space. Andrea says, great day. I've been completing the work to clear and remove the misplaced shame. Oh, that's so beautiful. I'm so glad to hear that. So I'm glad that I took a moment to like click on something else because <clears throat> normally I can't find the comments, but today I found the comments. Um, to reach goals, goals through valuable insight and guidance, yes, um, inner work, <clears throat> inner work. It's so huge, guys. When you tap into the right level of inner work, it, it clears the way. It clears the room. And most of us, most people, I'm not going to say us, but most people, well, I will say us because that's been me before. Most of us will stay in this safe zone. At, at least that's what we're telling ourselves. But the reason we really haven't moved is because of shame. Because that last thing didn't work or it didn't fully go, you know the way that we desired it to go so it's easy for your old stories to marinate and become a huge part of of who you're being and i would love to see you um move away you know from that space and create uh, new beliefs create new beliefs because all of those if you guys are really listening to me all of those are beliefs that were created from shame. Not They weren't created from belief. Right? They were created from shame. Belief is so huge. And a lot of your growth. Requires you to step outside. Of. It, it's, it's really not tied to your budget. It's tied to your belief. Your growth is not tied to your budget. Because most of the things that you're going to be required to do are not going to be in your budget. They're not. If you're operating from a bigger vision, a vision that's bigger than where you currently are, that next thing that you do will probably be outside of your budget. <laughs> so it's not going to allow you to operate in, in your budget, but it will always match your belief. It will always match your belief. And this is why I am adamant about helping women uncover limiting beliefs and adapt new, more abundant mindsets and thinking. Because it, from that central place, that's when we stop settling. That's when we soar. That's when we tap into something that we probably hadn't even planned. The scripture that comes up for me now is above what you can ask or think. Because currently, what you have the belief to ask or think is so small for the destiny that God really has planned for you. And when you tap into new beliefs, you build completely different. You build completely different. So my heart and my message for you today is to move away from the shame. Right? 
don't allow the shame of what didn't work or what may have happened or what didn't happen to keep you from your next. Take time to uncover more of those beliefs that are probably blocking your next level of money, your next level of relationships, your next level of well-being and joy and happiness. And for those of you who would like support in that space, who want to journey with me as we step into new, bigger, higher thoughts. Listen, when you get that mindset piece down, I remember hiring a coach. This was the second thing um, I was going to share. It just came up. I remember hiring a coach that taught this thing that I needed. I needed that thing, like that tactical thing, like that strategy thing. And this coach earned multiple millions of dollars a year. So that was the lifestyle. Remember earlier I said we normally hire people because we want to exchange, you know, the lifestyle that we see. But we don't necessarily hire people who have the capacity for who we are who we actually need to be and that's completely different so I hired this coach and yes the thing that she taught me to do work but one of the things I realized while I was working with her she didn't have the capacity for who I needed to become she didn't have the capacity she had the thing that helped me learn how to do that thing in my business, the accountability that I needed, but she didn't have the capacity for who I needed to be. And that's gonna come through a voice. It's gonna be someone who resonates deeply with you, beyond the surface level, especially in this season. And there are particular things that my ideal customers have gone through or faced that other people's ideal customers have not gone through because they're not perfect people, right? And so find people who have the capacity for who you need to become. Because when they, and most of the time, they want to see something in you you've never seen. You didn't even know it was there. That's about your being. That's about your being. For those of you who want to journey along with me, I've been talking about the She Prospers 30-day mastermind. It is a it is a mastermind on abundant thinking, mindset, and manifesting. We're going to be uncovering limiting beliefs and then replacing them with higher thoughts. We're going to be speaking higher language and completely focusing on abundant energy for 30 days. And the problem lies with we get little messages here and there, but we don't have a centralized focus that will actually change the things that are going on in our subconscious programming that are keeping us from our next. This is my complete reason for comp uh, for creating this 30-day container. So when you join, you join today, you're going to get pre-recorded. It's, it's live coaching, but this is additional, right? You start immediately with pre-recorded um, videos from the previous training and then I'm going to coach it live. It's going to be every Sunday. We're going to uh, coach live at 6 o'clock p.m. for the next four Sundays. We start this Sunday. Right now, the um, She Prospers Again Mastermind has a discount. It is normally $1,111. Right now, until midnight tonight, it is $888. There is an installment plan. I think $244 gets you started in, in the mastermind. Um, but tomorrow, it will go up. So it will be $999 tomorrow. And for those that join at the very last minute, um, it will be $1,111. Allow me to support you in shifting your beliefs and helping you to believe greater for what it is that you desire and help in helping you to uncover those limiting beliefs and replace them right with higher thoughts so that you can get to your next your next relationship your next health goal your next income range especially right because sometimes the the shame we may, the misplaced shame we may not recognize that we're dealing with is keeping us from showing up and promoting our business. 
I hope this is making sense. I hope this has registered. I pray that this this level of awareness was a blessing to those of you who come on. I thank all of you for um, connecting with me today. Um, for those of you who are joining us, you can go to renewfullcircle.com slash she prospers. If there's someone who can put that in the comments for me, renewfullcircle.com slash she prospers. Um, for those of you who are saying this resonated with me and I do have some limiting beliefs that I need to uncover and replace and I have some thoughts I need to retrain my subconscious programming so that I can move to my next level of whatever health well-being finances relationships listen when we have that um, misplaced shame we'll even settle in relationships something will be saying this is off this ain't even right but just because we failed the last time remember I said that misplaced shame can keep us in places longer than we're intended to be life is full of lessons we gonna learn them some things just not gonna work out right everything we do is not going to work but when we get in alignment we increase the percentage of things that work right and a lot of alignment is our words our thoughts what's going on in our hearts our mind and our actions right because if we're thinking it thoughts become things your thoughts control your feelings your feelings control your actions and your actions control your results so if you're thinking subconsciously and you don't know it from a place of misplaced shame then those are the feelings that you're gonna have and that means that your actions are going to align with you feeling ashamed that you may not have known and then that means your results are going to come from the same place. For those of you who this resonated with, um, I'd love to support you. Thank you for um, Andrea for posting that in the comments. For those of you who are joining us, again, there are installment payments at midnight tonight. The price increases. The regular price is $1,111. But I've been offering at lower rates for people to get opportunities to join at much lower um, cost. And then for those of you who join, I have um, an opportunity for you that's going to be amazing. So as I, there are things that I'm doing in my business this year that I did in my brick and mortar business that I teach my clients. And, you know, it's just time for me to put those things in place for mine as well, mainly because it gives people and it gives me an opportunity to give back on a on a big level. And so I've created affiliate opportunities. When you join, you then get an affiliate opportunity to share with someone and you get money. <laughs> you get money back from um, those who join from your affiliate space. So that's another bonus for those of you who are joining us because it's all about abundance. And abundance is um, a flow of giving and receiving giving and receiving that's my take I hope you guys um, I hope this registered for you a space of awareness